بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Continuing in Riyad al-Saliheen, book number 17, the book of the prohibited actions. Chapter 314, prohibition of swearing in the name of anything besides Allah. Narrated Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah has prohibited you from taking an oath by your fathers. He who must take an oath may do so by swearing in the name of Allah, or he should remain silent. Al-Bukhari and Muslim. We learn from this hadith that taking the oath of one's ancestors is prohibited. In the forthcoming a hadith, one is also forbidden from taking the oath of false gods and devils. Narrated Abdurrahman ibn Samura radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Swear neither in the name of Tagut, i.e. false deities, false leaders, etc., nor in the name of your forefathers, Muslim. Narrated Buraida radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He who swears by Amana, trust, is not one of us. Abi Dawood with authentic isnad. The oath of a manna means to say by a manna, as one says by Allah. This is prohibited for the reason that one can take the oath of Allah or any other of his attributes. A manna is one of the com commandments of Allah and an obligation prescribed by him, like Salah, Saum, Hajj, etc. In this way, the commandments of Allah assume the resemblance of his glorious name and attribute, which is not correct. Hmm. Narrated Buraira, radiallahu anhu, that Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, If anyone swear that in such and such case he will be free from Islam, and afterwards he turns out to be a liar, he will be as he has sworn. But if he is speaking the truth, he will not revert safely to Islam. Abi Dawood. What this hadith tells us is that if someone says, if I do such and such thing, I will be a kafir. Now, if he really meant that, if he did that, he will adopt kufr. Then he will at once become a kafir. But if he meant that he will strictly adhere to Islam and never take the way of kufr, he will not become a kafir, but the style in which he said it was certainly wrong. Therefore, he must make repentance and beg forgiveness from Allah for it. It is better if he recites again Kalimat al-Shahada to renew his faith. Narrated Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu that I heard a man saying, no, by the Kaaba. I admonish him, do not swear by anything besides Allah. For I heard Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, he who swears by anything or anyone other than Allah has indeed committed an act of kuf or shirk, a timidity. Some ulama of the opinion that the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he, would, he who swears by anything or anyone other than Allah has indeed committed an act of shirk or kuf or in the nature of extreme admon ad admonition. And in fact, it is not shirk. The same applies to the saying of Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who said showing off is shirk. Imam al Nawawi has regarded the saying showing off is shirk as hadith is not narrated in these words. It is, however, true that what the Prophet ﷺ has stated about the evil and sinfulness of showing off implies that it is also a minor shirk. For instance, he stated that he who keeps fast or offers a law for mere show has indeed committed shirk. In any case, to take oath of anyone other than a law is strictly forbidden. It is therefore necessary to abstain from swearing by any other than Allah. Unfortunately, such oaths are very common and people do not realize that they are prohibited 
and unlawful. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.